This is Central Huron, and we are strong. We are Central Huron Strong! I am Central Huron Strong. We are Central Huron Strong. Go Phoenix. We are Central Huron Strong! 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 Well, here we are again. Welcome back, graduates. Please stand for the national anthem. Please be seated. Good evening, graduates, and to those watching us from home. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Central Huron Secondary School's commencement ceremony of 2020. My name is Chris Smith, and I am the principal here at CHSS. You will notice that my co-hosts for tonight, Mrs. Yancey, Mr. Dennys, and myself, are all proudly wearing gowns and hoods that represent our post-secondary degrees and institutions. We have a very special night planned for our graduates, and we also hope that family members and friends that cannot be with us will also enjoy the event. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on the traditional land of the Anishinaabe peoples. We wish to recognize the long history of indigenous peoples in Canada and show our respect to them on this special day. We recognize their stewardship of the land. May we all live with respect on this land and live in peace and friendship. For some housekeeping, please remember to social distance and wear your mask at all times. Except for the picture, more information to come on this later. If you need to use a bathroom, we would ask that those, are at the back, those of you that are at the back of the gym use the gender neutral washroom by the small gym, and those of you at the front of the gym access the washrooms down the main hallway past the office. We are striving to make this a contact free evening I would ask for your cooperation in making sure that this night runs safely. For those of you at home, we have divided the gym in two and we have our graduates sitting on both sides facing the screens. Wave to your parents at home, everybody. They are a very good group so far, following instructions. They will be able to see me and also watch their friends getting their diplomas. We will flash periodically to the audience also just to make sure they're paying attention. We also have a special camera set up tonight that I am calling the Kyle Dunn cam. Kyle? Yes, everything's good, right? Excellent. I would like to acknowledge the incredible support from our community. Your amazing financial generosity makes a difference in the lives of our students and your continued support of events throughout the year 
has a significant impact on the school culture. Let's start by showing our appreciation for our community. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Graduates, this is obviously not how we planned the year 2020 would go for you. But here we are. As I've been preparing for this night, I've been reflecting on how long this school has been a part of this community. Since 1866, this has the best person to ask is our local historian and retired CHSS history teacher, Mr. David Yates. But with all the COVID restrictions in place right now, I could only get this guy. Uh, well, Mr. Smith, thanks for coming and asking. Uh, you know, as the Canadian World Study said, I, I should have some knowledge of this. Uh, Canada's gone through some real hardships, World War I, World War II, and you would assume that there would have been some interruption to school. Um, I recall reading in Dave Yates's book, Out of the Blue, that during the Spanish influenza uh, issues of 1918-1919, that there was some interruption. So, best I would say is you need to contact Dave Yates for more information. Well, after striking out there, I figured I would ask three of the smartest people at CHSS and the people that are really, really running the show day in and day out. I wondered if they knew if commencement had ever been cancelled. I'm too young to know that answer. I think I'm younger than you. Geez, I don't know. We're too busy running the school. Ask Dave Gates. That was my office. They, uh, they rarely let me use that. <laughs> and they're still mad at me for wasting their time. My last chance was to ask the person who has been at CHSS longer than anyone. This week, in fact, in fact we celebrated 45 years of service for this incredible young lady. I had to ask the one, the only, Heather. You know what, Chris Smith? That's a good question. I'm not sure, but I remember in 1905, I thought we had a shortage of cookies and breakfast sandwiches. But the best one to ask would be Mr. Yates. Well, I guess I really should have just figured out a way to ask Mr. Yates. Now, I am not sure if commencement has ever been cancelled, but I do know that this school and all of the surrounding communities have faced hardship in the past. Whether it has been two world wars, economic hardships, environmental disasters, political unrest, or disease. I believe that this place has always found a way. That the people of Clinton, Seaforth, Blythe, Bayfield, and all of Huron County have always found a way to honor their youth and celebrate their academic accomplishments. We opened the ceremony with a new rallying cry for our school and a fitting one given the circumstances we find ourselves in. We are Central Huron Strong. Now what does that mean for you? I met most of you when you were in grade 10 and I was just starting here at CHSS. I would describe your group at that time as being quiet, curious, and friendly. You see, every grade has a character, a personality that is shaped by the circumstances that they find themselves in. That first year, you did not have a clear and defined voice. Over the last three years, I have seen you develop that voice. One of the things I have marveled at is how many of you I have seen carrying out acts of kindness for your fellow students and community members. Not just one or two of you, many of you. In fact, a large majority of you seem to make the decision day in and day out to be thoughtful, and put others ahead of yourselves. This is not how many people would describe the typical teenager. And make no mistake, you are typical teenagers. You have managed and continue to manage to screw things up. You are not perfect and you still need a lot of work. I hope my 17-year-old son is listening to this little speech right now too. So do me a favor, go home tonight and tell your parents that you are not perfect. Kyle? I'm not perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Now, 
The amazing Dr. Bonnie Henry coined a phrase at the beginning of this pandemic that I love. Be kind, be calm, be safe. Your class, whether you see it or not, is made for this time. And your calm leadership with caring and kindness will carry you through. But what does this have to do with being strong? Well, I believe that when faced with adversity, the strongest amongst us responds with great kindness. That when faced with a world of uncertainty, the strongest amongst us strives to stay calm. We need all of you to continue to show us the way. Because I believe you, and I mean every one of you, is Central Huron strong. Thank you. Our Director of Education, Dr. Lisa Walsh, who is going to be bringing us greetings virtually from the school board. Hello, Phoenix graduates of 2020. What a memorable year to be a graduate. I know it wasn't easy to finish your final year of high school from home, online, without your classmates and teachers and friends surrounding you. I know you're likely disappointed to not be able to have a traditional commencement ceremony with gowns and music and an auditorium full of the people that have been cheering you on throughout your secondary education. I'm really sorry that you can't have that, but I also know that these are the things that will help you to see how resilient you can be. This also does not take away from your accomplishment, your growth over the years in high school, and the skills and attributes that you will undoubtedly use throughout your life. The resiliency that you have developed throughout this challenging situation will serve you well. Change is one of those things we can count on in life. As an adult, you realize that there are lots of situations in life that change the direction of your life that you really can't predict and you may not even anticipate. Your response to change shows the kind of person you are. The fact that you adapted to doing all of your classes online in the middle of your final year and made it here today shows your determination and ability to adapt. As someone who has experienced graduation several times, I know what it feels like to find yourself on the other side of a major academic achievement. You've worked so hard to get here, and now what? It's exciting and daunting at the same time. Many of you have already started post-secondary education or entered the workforce. Some of you are struggling to cope with all the changes that COVID has brought to your life. I'm sure all of you have been asked, well, what's next? What are you going to do now? For some of you, the answer might be very easy and others of you might need more time to determine your area of interest and focus for energy and commitment, but that's okay. The important thing is that you continue to move forward Continue to remain positive in the face of change and continue to strive for the excellence that you have achieved today. I would encourage you to remember that you are resilient. You have faced change and graduated high school during a pandemic. You are brave. You have what it takes to step forward into the next phase of your life as a lifelong learner. You and your peers will remember this pandemic and work to improve emergency management in other areas or maybe even in the education system. You will be influenced by the Black Lives Matter movement and work to fight against racism wherever you encounter it. You belong to a generation that's going to lead the way to a better future. I know I speak for your teachers, the support staff and administrators when I say we are proud of you. We are not just proud of your accomplishments throughout your time with us, but we are very proud of who you are becoming how you will use this challenging situation to build your resiliency and ability to adapt to change. And we are proud that you've contributed to our education system. You will forever remember your graduating year, the support of people in your life, the memories of your time as a student in AMDSB. I hope that you look back on your time here at CHSS and within our school board with great pride. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. Thank you, Dr. Walsh. We are also going to have virtual greetings from a couple of our staff members here at CHSS, Ms. Mello and Mr. Middleton. 
This wasn't how it was supposed to be. This wasn't how it was supposed to end. No championships, no red walk, no final walk around the hallways, no hugs and tears and goodbyes to your favorite teachers. It's like a novel that didn't end the way you wanted or that you didn't finish reading. This wasn't how it was supposed to end, but this is how it is. It's been hard for us too. You've been a big part of our lives the past four years. We met you in grade nine when you were so little, so sweet, and so, so silly. You kept us on our toes with your sense of humor and crazy shenanigans, but ultimately you wedged your way into our hearts. And now here you are, these amazing young adults ready to take on the world. We have to not focus on the way the school year ended, but instead focus on the four years of great friendships and memories made here at CHSS. Every teacher in this school is proud of you, of what you've been through, of the challenges you've overcome, and of the perseverance you've demonstrated to make it here tonight. Don't worry if you feel like you didn't learn everything or haven't figured it all out. You learned everything you need to know to get going. You'll get there. You've got time. And if you need an ear or some guidance or just want to talk, we're still here. We aren't going anywhere. I often say that the best part about it being a teacher is being able to meet such amazing humans. And you, class of 2020, have been among the best, one for the history books. We hope you always felt the love and support from everyone here on staff. Take what you learned from this building and go forward and do good. Look for problems to solve. Make your community a better place, work hard, and spread kindness wherever you go. Class of 2020, we look forward to your future accomplishments. From all of the staff here at CHSS, congratulations and good luck on the next part of your journey. Thank you, Mr. Middleton and Ms. Mello. Now, we move to the heart of the evening and the real reason you are all here, the conferring of your diplomas. The package that you will pick up tonight contains your diploma and official transcripts. It also contains congratulatory letters from our local MP, Ben Lobb, our local MPP, Lisa Thompson, our warden, Jim Ginn, and our local AMDSB school board trustee, Robert Hunking. It also has a special gift from us this year, your grad book. Which is, a, which is produced with help from Adnac Images. For those of you that are receiving scholarships and awards, those will also be in your package tonight. Listen carefully to the following instructions so that we can keep you safe and make sure that this goes smoothly. And Mr. Denny's will demonstrate how this will work. We will be bringing you up in small groups and we ask that you keep social distancing in place. You will hand your card to Ms. Mello who will be doing some reading for us tonight. You will pick up your diploma and step onto the small stage. You will then remove your mask and stand with your diploma out in front of you for a photo. You will not leave until our photographer says that you can leave. Take your time here. You will then put your mask on and return to your seat. Once we have completed this side of the gym, we will move over to the other side of the gym and proceed in the same manner. We are going to call out all of our amazing graduates tonight so that those that cannot be here will still hear their name called. One more thing, a special congratulatory note to those students wearing a purple sash tonight. They are being recognized for completing their specialist high skills major in one of the four programs that we offer here at CHSS. I now hand the mic over to Ms. Mello. Good evening. Our first graduate is Chloe Bockert. Chloe is an Ontario scholar. She received the Clinton News Record Award 
as well as the George Jefferson Memorial Scholarship. Chloe is studying kinesiology at Western. Our next graduate is Colton Bockert. He is currently working at Curtis Smith Excavating. His favorite memory from high school was the high school soccer and when we would lose, the coach would freak. <laughs> Our next graduate is Jared Bergsma. Jared is an Ontario scholar he received the Excalibur Insurance Group Scholarship, Southeast Hope Mutual Scholarship, and the Math Teachers Award. Jared is currently working at Grant Bergsma Carpentry. Our next graduate is Brooke Byerman. Brooke is an Ontario scholar. She also earned her high, specialist high school major in health and wellness. Brooke earned or won the English Teachers Award, the Seaforth Hospital Auxiliary Award, and the Bill Pinder Memorial Award, the Jean McEwen Scholarship Award, and the Norma Jeffrey Memorial Bursary. She is planning to attend Lambton in, as an RPN uh, next year. Congratulations, Brooke. Our next graduate is Grace Bontaine. She is currently working at Seaforth Foodland. She was a member of the school's GSA and will start college next September. Congratulations, Grace. Our next graduate is Madison Brace. She is thankful for her time here at CHSS. Congratulations, Madison. Our next graduate is Michaela Brack. She is currently studying PSW at Fleming College. She received the Usborne and Hibbert Mutual Fire Insurance Company Award and the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award. Congratulations, Michaela. Our next graduate is Griffey Bromley. Griffey is currently working at Cowbell, Cowbell Brewing. She received the Mary Ann Smith Memorial Award. Congratulations, Griffey. Our next graduate is Madison Burns. She is an Ontario scholar and she earned the specialist high school major in health and wellness. She receives the District 8 OSSTF bursary as well as the Jean Saldivar Memorial. She is currently studying nursing at the University of Windsor. Congratulations to Madison. Our next graduate is Willow Cameron. She hopes to become a PSW in the future. Congratulations to Willow. Our next graduate is Cassandra Campbell. She is studying early childhood education at Fanshawe College. She received the Senior Food Services Award, the Clinton Optimist Club Award, and the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award. She wants to thank staff, family, and my plus one for sticking by me. I made it. Congratulations, Cassie. Our next graduate is Cole Shagnon. Cole is an Ontario scholar. He, is, uh, he received the CHSS Business Scholarship, the Ontario Cooperative Education Association Award, and the Jean Hildebrand Memorial Award. 
He is at CHSS working towards university or college in the fall and currently also working at Verbeek's Farm and Garden Center. He enjoyed all the experiences in high school as well as my time on the hockey team. And John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf. Blake Cooper, he received his high, specialist high school major in agriculture. He is currently working at Cooper Farms. Congratulations, Blake. Our next graduate is Mackenzie Crawford. She is a planning to uh, study nursing at Conestoga next year. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Our next graduate is Jill Dunamy. Jill is an Ontario scholar. She receives tonight the CHSS Family Studies Award. She is currently studying English at the University of Guelph and hopes to attend Teachers College after underground, undergrad in the Can Teach program in Australia. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Kyle Dunn. Kyle is an Ontario scholar. He received a specialist high school major in manufacturing. Kyle receives tonight the Lauren Brown Memorial Award, the Pamela King Memorial Award, and the Cooper Standard Automotive Award. Kyle is currently studying welding and robotics at Conestoga College. Congratulations to Kyle. Sorry. Our next grad is Mitchell Dunn. He received the specialist high school major in agriculture. Tonight, Mitchell also receives the Heron Tire and Auto Award. He is currently apprenticing with Courtney Custom Masonry. His favorite memory with the boys was when I, he had his truck sideways out front of the school and got blocked in the back parking lot by the cops and the boys were freaking out. Congratulations, Mitch. Our next graduate is Sherry Edward. She is an Ontario scholar, and she earned her specialist high school major in information communication technology. She is back at CHSS for a fifth year. Congratulations, Sherry. <laughs> next, we have Emily Faber. Emily is an Ontario scholar. Tonight, she receives the Optimal Health Physical Education Award, as well as the Neil Atchison Memorial Award. She is currently studying honor science at Wilfrid Laurier University, and she's thankful for her time here at CHSS. Congratulations, Emily. Our next graduate is Brian Femerenko. He is currently working at Tim Hortons. He would like to become a musician and a professional sound squeaker. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Paige Fear is currently studying PSW at Fanshawe College. She is the receiver of the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award tonight. She wants to continue her education later to become an RPN. Congratulations, Paige. <laughs> Alexander Fielding, he is an Ontario scholar, and tonight he's receiving the TD Canada Trust Creative Arts Award. He plans to pursue a degree in animation next September. Congratulations, Alex. Next, our next graduate is Ben Filiatro. 
Ben is the receiver of the district OSSTF bursary. He plans to go to college for computer programming in the future. Congratulations, Ben. Next, we have Jacob Flood. Jacob earned the specialist high school major in agriculture. He's currently working at JMR Electric as a sheet metal mechanic. Congratulations to Jacob. Our next graduate is John Flynn. John earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He is back to CHSS with plans to go into electrical in the future. Congratulations to John. Our next graduate is Mackenzie Flynn. She is currently working at NJS Designs in the event and party planning. She's waiting a year to go to college at Conestoga for cooking. Congratulations to Mackenzie. Nolan Gagne received the specialist high school major in health and wellness. Tonight, he was awarded the Hay Mutual John Constant Memorial Award. Uh, he plans to um, go to study the Bachelor of Physical Education at Brock University. He's deferred this year. He's currently working at Bob Custom, Bab, hmm, Bab Custom Crushing as a surface miner. Uh, he says, I've deferred going away to school for the year due to COVID. I'm working for the year and continuing my path in hockey and fitness. Congratulations to Nolan. Our next graduate is Courtney Geddes. She is an Ontario Scholar, and tonight she is awarded with the Clinton Family Physicians Award, the W.D. Fair Award, the Bethany Blanchard Memorial Award, the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award, and the Ruby Hattie Award from the Clinton Public Hospital Auxiliary. She is studying health science at Western University in hopes of going to medical school. Congratulations to Courtney. Our next graduate is Madison Glode. She is working as a, at Queensway Nursing Home. She's currently working full time for the next year before pursuing a career in developmental social work. Congratulations, Madison. Our next graduate is Brody Gould. Brody is currently working at the municipality of Blue Water as a facility attendant. He's taking a, a year off before heading away. Heading away. <laughs> Congratulations, Brody. Our next graduate is Keegan Gray. Keegan receives tonight, um, sorry, he is the receiver of the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He receives the Clinton Lions Club Award, the Ontario Cooperative Education Award, the Morgan's Roofing Leadership in Action Award, the Cooper Standard Automotive Award. He is currently working at Vanderburg Mill Writing, um, apprenticing as a millwright. <laughs> Congratulations, Keegan. Our next graduate is Bailey Hamp. Bailey is an Ontario scholar, and she received her specialist high school major in health and wellness. She is currently working at Zares Godridge in the health and beauty department, and plans to go to University of Ottawa for teaching French as a second language. Congratulations to Bailey. <laughs> Summer Hyde is back at CHSS and working at Dreamingly Delicious Bakery, or she's the future owner. I, uh, she is the receiver of the Susan and Bertha Ross Award. She says, I leave this place as an educated businesswoman, a cook, and a writer. I couldn't have done it without the amazing staff members here at CHSS. Congratulations, Summer. Our next graduate is Jenna Haykoop. She is an Ontario scholar. She receives the BM, B&M Fine Furniture Award tonight. 
She is currently back at CHSS and working at Godridge Place as a dietary aide. She returned to fi uh, as a fifth year to figure out what she wants to do in the future. Congratulations, Jenna. Um, our next graduate is Raymond Horan. He is an Ontario scholar and he received the specialist high school major in agriculture. He is currently farming. He's, he says, uh, never forget grade 10 auto class with Ray G and classmates. And when we tried to make a bobsled team. Our next graduate is Alexa Hugel. Alexa is an Ontario scholar, and tonight she receives the Bruce Power Women in Trades Award. She is back at CHSS while working at the Black Dog in, Bruce, in Bayfield. Sorry, She's planning on going to Conestoga or Humber for public relations one day to recruit young women to the trades. Congratulations, Alexa. Our next graduate is Sydney Hunking. Sydney is an Ontario scholar. She earned the specialist high school major in health and wellness. Tonight, Sydney receives the Bayfield Optimist Club Award, the Sun North Systems Bursary, and the Tanner Steffler Memorial Live in the Life Award. She is currently studying social sciences at McMaster University. She'd like to thank all the teachers who made this possible. Congratulations, Sydney. Our next graduate is Averly Jardine Pilon. She is an Ontario scholar and she earned her high specialist high school major in health and wellness. She receives tonight the Larry Bannerman Foundation Award and the Nutritional Management Award. She is currently working at Willie's and Langford Lumber. Concussions weren't the best part of my years, but thanks for making it fun. Congratulations, Averly. Our next graduate is Cordell Kennedy. Cordell earned the specialist high school major in information communication technology. He is the receiver tonight of the Communication Technology Award and the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award. He is currently working at Hensel District Co-op, the Clinton Mill, as a mill worker. I had a great time here and would like to thank the world's greatest teachers, Mr. Barton and Mr. Middleton. Our next graduate is Morgan Kennedy. Morgan is currently working at Foodland in New Orleans. Congratulations, Morgan. Our next graduate is Sarah Kerr. Sarah is an Ontario scholar, and she earned the specialist high school major in health and wellness. Tonight, she receives the AJAI Juice, Juice and Agricultural Award, the Canadian Parents for French Award, the CHSS Student Council, the Bill Shore Award for Student Involvement, the Huron Federation of Agricultural Bursary, the West Wamanosh Mutual Insurance Company Award, and the Brian Hill Memorial Award. She is currently studying animal biology at the University of Guelph. Congratulations to Sarah. Our next graduate is Vanessa Ladd. 
Vanessa earned the Specialist High School major in Health and Wellness. She is currently working at Here in View as a food service worker. Sports were mint even though we lost. Congratulations to Vanessa. Dana Latour is an Ontario scholar. Tonight she receives the Elizabeth Scott Bursary, the Seaforth Animal Hospital Award, the Visual Arts Most Divergent Thinker Award, the Bill Fleming Memorial Award, the Norma Jeffrey Memorial Award, and the Schulich Leadership Scholarship nominee. She is currently studying wildlife biology and conservation at the University of Guelph. I hope to travel and see as many species of birds as I can after I graduate university. Congratulations, Dana. Our next graduate is Grace Mayhew. She is an Ontario scholar and earned the Specialist High School major in Health and Wellness. She is currently studying the Bachelor of Kinesiology at Wilfrid Laurier University. I can't walk in these shoes, but I'm glad to be here because I had a good time. Congratulations, Grace. Our next graduate is Ryan McGregor. Ryan earned the Specialist High School major in Health and Wellness. Tonight, she receives the CHSS Student Council Lynn Godkin Award for Student Involvement. She is studying pre-health, restorative hygiene, one of those, at Algonquin College, and working maybe at Huron Road Dental. Congratulations to Ryan. Our next graduate is Michael McGuire. Michael earned the Specialist High School major in Manufacturing. He's currently working at W.G. Kelly Construction. Congratulations, Michael. Our next graduate is Marcus Mifflin. He receives tonight the Marlene and Marie Forbes Award. He is currently employed at Dashwood Industries. He's excited to see where the next doorway of opportunities will lead, and he wants to thank all the staff at CHSS. Congratulations, Marcus. Our next graduate is Kai Miller. He is happy to graduate. Congratulations. Next, we have Jasmine Milligan. She is an Ontario scholar, and she is the winner of the Communication Technology Award. Jasmine is currently back at CHSS working at Foodland. She hopes to travel the world and do animal rehabilitation. My lashes are fake tonight. Our next graduate is Claire Mitchell. Claire is an Ontario scholar. She is studying animal biology at the University of Guelph. Tonight she receives the Elizabeth Scott bursaries, the Janet and Margretta Snell Scholarship, the West Wabanash Mutual Insurance Company Award, and the Norma Jeffrey Memorial Bursary. She is thankful for her time here at CHSS. Congratulations, Claire. Our next graduate is Marissa Nesbitt. Marissa is an Ontario scholar. Tonight she receives the Norman Parks Garrett Memorial Scholarship. She is going to Laurier next year for law and political science. She wants to say sorry for being late all the time. <laughs> Congratulations, Marissa. Our next graduate is Kaori Ono. Ontario Scholar. She receives tonight the CHSS Art Award, the Murphy Bus Lines Award, the Ward Hodgins Biology Award, the W.D. Fair Award, and the Norman Parks Garrett Memorial Scholarship. 
She is studying psychology at Western University. She's thankful for everyone who shaped her into who she is today. Congratulations. Our next graduate is valedictorian Josh Park. No, no sorry, Josh Plunkett. <laughs> is not Josh Plunkett. Josh Park, Ontario scholar. Uh, he is studying social work at Wilfrid Laurier University. He received tonight the W.D. Fair Award and the Earl Ralph Switzer Memorial Scholarship, GDCI Award first, then us. Oh, you didn't need to read that. Good, Josh, can we just start over? Um, he wants to let us know that he is the last of the parks, and that is a sad face for sure. Congratulations, Josh. Sorry for screwing that up. Um, Austin. Our next graduate is Austin Passmore. Austin earned the high specialist high school major in manufacturing. He's currently working at the Black Dog. He says, have as much fun as you can in school because once you're out, life kicks you in the butt. Congratulations to Austin. Our next graduate is K.C. Peterson. Um, K.C. is back at CHSS for a fifth year. She says Mid Middleton's jokes were the highlight of her high school career. Congratulations, K.C. Our next graduate is Joy Pizzotti. Joy is an Ontario scholar and earned her specialist high school major in health and wellness. She is currently studying nursing at McMaster University. Tonight, she receives the Norman Parks Garrett Memorial Scholarship as well as the Linda Doig Award. She's enjoying college and thankful to have graduated with great friends. Congratulations, Joy. Next, for real, uh, this is Josh Plunkett, your valedictorian and Ontario scholar. He receives tonight the Bruce Power Future Innovator Award, the Clinton and District Kinsman Club Award, the E.A. Fines Award, Newton Award, W.D. Fair Award, the, another W.D. Fair Award, uh, Wright Family Award, the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award, just stay right there, Josh Plunkett, and the Cooper Standard Automotive Award. He is studying nanoscience at the University of Guelph. He also is a chocolate cookie race connoisseur. Congratulations to Josh. Our next graduate is Alana Polland. She is working at Harbor Hill retirement home. She wants to become a DSW. Thankful for all the support and banana bread over the four years. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Brendan Pop. He's currently working at Robinson's Electric. He is a very handsome young man with a bright future. He's very handsome. R.I.P. the summer stash. Congratulations, Brendan. Our next graduate is Kim Raithby. She is an Ontario scholar and received the specialist high school major in health and wellness. She also receives tonight the Edmund Daly Award, the W.D. Fair Award, the Jean McEwen Scholarship Award, and the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award. She is studying Bachelor of Science in Nursing at Lambton College. I am happy to be graduating and would like to thank my family for their support. Congratulations, Kim. Our next graduate is James Real. James received the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He also receives tonight the Radar Autoport Parts Award. He is currently working at Willie's, and he is the real James Real. Congratulations, James. 
Grace Robinson is going to college next September for technical production for the performing arts industry at Sheridan. She's currently working at Cowboy Brewery in Total Image. It took a little longer than I thought to get here, but I did it. Congratulations to Grace. I should have added, sorry, Grace is an Ontario scholar and also earned the specialist high school major in information communication technology. Congratulations. Bradley Rogers. Let me just make sure. Uh, he is loving life and he couldn't be happier to graduate and move on to the next chapter in his life. Congratulations, Bradley. Our next graduate is Sarah Rose. She's back for a fifth year remote learning. She works at the Hive in Bayfield. Tonight, she's an award winner. She has received the Alumni Memorial Award and the Clinton Kinnett Volunteerism Award. School wasn't what I expected, but I had fun anyway. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next graduate is Emerson Shepard. Emerson is an Ontario scholar. He earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He is back co-oping at CHSS at something, L oh, Elegson, <laughs> Elegson Electric, uh, is built different. Congratulations, Emerson. Our next graduate is Allison Snell. She is working at Kate's Station. She receives tonight the Elizabeth Scott Bursary, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 156 Award, the Kathleen Stapleton Memorial Award, the Mary Elizabeth Jackson Hinton Award, and the Norma Jeffrey Memorial Bursary. She's taking a year off and attending University of Guelph next year for criminal justice. Congratulations. Brendan Steckley earned the specialist high school major in information communication technology. He is currently working at home. He is happy that he is here today. Congratulations, Brendan. <laughs> Lauren Steinman, she earned her specialist high school major in health and wellness. She is currently working at the YMCA daycare. She started off 2020 heading on a Rotary Youth Exchange to Brazil. She spent the first seven months of the year there, uh, but due to COVID, returned early. She's currently working at the Lucan YMCA daycare and plans to go off to post-secondary in 2021. Congratulations, Lauren. Our next graduate is Mackenzie Stevens. Mackenzie earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He's currently working at Dale Pump and Farm Service as a plumber gas fitter. I was part of the CHSS bobsled team. <laughs> Congratulations, Mackenzie. Our next graduate is Liam Stahl. He is an Ontario scholar and he earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He's currently working at JD Electrical. Favorite memory, rear ending Kyle. <laughs> Congratulations, Liam. Our next graduate is Emily Upshaw. She earned the specialist high school major in agriculture. She's taking a year off before going off to school for social services. Congratulations to Emily. Our next graduate is Riker Vanderbrook. He earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He's currently working at Vanderbrook Construction as a general laborer. He plans to work for my father doing, cons doing construction. Congratulations, Riker. Our next graduate is Derek Vandenhuvel. He earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. He's currently studying heavy equipment operator at Conestoga College and working at G Herd Construction and a couple chicken farms. He will never forget the bobsledding team. He's got his phone number and email here too, but I'm not gonna get that out. 
Congratulations, Derek. Our next graduate is Owen White. Owen is an Ontario scholar. He earned the specialist high school major in agriculture. He's currently working at JMR Electric and Mechanical as an apprentice. Grade 12 was hard, he says. Congratulations, Owen. Our next graduate is Colin Wiltz. Colin is an Ontario scholar. He receives tonight the Badminton Club Award and the Crime Stoppers Award. He is studying police foundations at Fanshawe College. Congratulations, Colin. Our next graduate is Jason Wiltz. Jason is an Ontario scholar and he earned the specialist high school major in manufacturing. Tonight, he is the rece recipient of the Seaforth BIA Commencement Award. He is an apprenticeship uh, at JKS Custom Building as a carpenter through Fanshawe. He's just a guy who does what he can. <laughs> Congratulations, Jason. Our next graduate is Madeline Yancey. Madeline is an Ontario scholar. Tonight, she receives the Father Nagel Council 5420 bursary from the Goddard and Clinton Knights of Columbus Council, the Larry Bannerman Foundation Award, the Municipality of Central Huron Award, and the Ontario Volunteerism Medal. She is currently working at Clinton Chiropractic and Wellness Center. She plans to go to school in September 2021 for business. Congratulations, Madeline. And our final graduate tonight is Cole Zweb. Cole is an Ontario scholar, and tonight he receives the Bank of Montreal Award and the Royal Bank Award. He is currently studying police foundations at Conestoga College. He's hoping to become a police officer and loves his mother very much. Congratulations, Cole. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Let's have a big round of applause and I want to hear you from all your homes. Okay, we now have a couple of major awards that we would like to recognize. For those receiving one of these awards, please come to the front for a photo. First, the McCall Huron County Scholarship. Okay. This is an award for students. I apologize. <laughs> the McCall Huron County Scholarship is an award for students in Huron County that are of strong character and who care deeply about their school and their community. Dr. McCall McBain is a proud graduate of Seaforth District High School, and she created this scholarship valued at up to $24,000, plus an additional travel grant for students traveling out of province. This year, CHSS referred four nominees to the Central Selection Committee. We are so proud that Joy Pizzotti is a recipient of one of these scholarships this year. Congratulations, Joy. making Mr. Denny's run around a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I Next up is our CHSS Teachers Award for a graduating student that has made CHSS a better place because of their leadership inside and outside the classroom. This year, the award goes to Emily Faber. Principal's Award for Student Leadership 
goes to the student that has been an outstanding leader during their time at CHSS. He or she is respected by their peers and has been instrumental in promoting all aspects of the culture here at CHSS. This student has shown me on numerous occasions what a fine young leader he is by doing the right thing and by always being positive and supportive. It is my pleasure to present this award to Kyle Dunn. Our last major award, the Governor General's Medal, goes to the student with the highest average in their top six 4U subjects. This year, with an average of 95.3, the Governor's General Award goes to Courtney Geddes. It is now time to hear from the valedictorian that was chosen by you, the students. To in introduce our valedictorian of the graduating class of 2020, we have Ms. Gasho joining us virtually. What a gift to be able to introduce this year's valedictorian. Your valedictorian has so many amazing traits and characteristics and an all around awesome person. Not only is he amazing to teach, He's responsible, intelligent, amazing at math and science. He's hardworking. You can always find him sitting here in the library, completing all of his work. But he's also an all around amazing person. He's patient, kind, humble, and fun loving. I can completely understand why you chose him to represent the class of 2020. Without further ado, Josh Plunkett. Never mind, we're doing this one. <laughs> Finally made it to the other side of the wall. Feels pretty good. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Here we are on the long, long, long-awaited night of our graduation. Feels pretty good to finally throw the old shower curtain on and the old cap in order to sweat it out for a nice graduation ceremony. Now I'm going to be honest. This speech was a bit more difficult to write than I expected it would be. Normally, under, cir under normal circumstances, when reflecting on the end of your high school career as it draws to a close, you can think back to a time a couple weeks prior when you're just in one of the classrooms with your friends, learning and having a good time. But as, as I'm sure you've already heard by now, this is not exactly the case for the class of 2020. It's been months and months since most of us have seen each other's faces, let alone all been in one room together. It feels good to see everyone's faces again. Well, see everyone's eyes again. <laughs> And although it isn't that far ago in the grand scheme of things, it really does feel like it's been quite a long time. The pandemic canceled the second half of senior year and caused us to miss out on some traditional things such as prom, senior skip day, and a more conventional graduation ceremony. And I'm also pretty sure the soccer teams were off the gold, so that sucks too. But despite the unanimous feeling of being taught the shorthand this senior year, when you compare what our biggest worries are to some of the others in the world, it makes us realize that we really truly are quite fortunate to be in our safe and free country, gathered together with all, of, <laughs> all the people that made our time together at CHSS very special as we got our education. In my opinion, that really is the silver lining to the whole lockdown ordeal. It really is a you don't know what you have till it's gone situation. At the time, waking up in the morning and going to school really did feel like a punishment. And I think we all couldn't wait till we could be set free to our own devices when that final bell rang. 
But then we got sent home with an extra week of March break, and well, I'm sure you know how that ends, little knowing that that would be the last time we would be inside CHSS together as students. Which brings me back to my point. When we walked out of those doors on that final day, we didn't know that that would be the end of fun with friends at CHSS. If I would have known that that was the final day, you know, maybe I would have appreciated those early mornings with friends in the hallway a little more. And uh, going to see Cheryl after a slightly extended lunch break might not have seemed so bad. I can't speak for everyone when I say this, but if I would have known that that was the end of fun with friends in the CHSS hallways, I might have stopped and smelt the cafeteria cookies a couple more times, or maybe went for a Coke with Mr. Barton. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that we should all appreciate every moment as we're living in it, because you never know when that moment could end or situation could change, leaving you wishing you could have taken advantage of those opportunities right in front of you. Speaking of change, as per most recently graduated students, there have been some pretty big life changes happening in our lives. There are levels to it, of course, as some changes are more monumental than others. But I want to say that no matter the size of the changes happening in your life, I'm proud of all of us. This is the first time in our lives that we've really had to move beyond the construct of grade school and make big decisions that will impact the rest of our futures. So no matter the size of the change happening in your life, take it from me that you're all doing great and I'm so proud of us for surviving the first couple months of our semi-adult lives. That being said, I want to also encourage everyone to take care of themselves during this time. During a stressful but during a stressful time like this, it can be very easy to feel overwhelmed and perhaps let your health take a back seat in your priorities. I want you to know that you're not alone. We all have our down days, and rather than trying to go through them by yourself, it will likely be more beneficial to reach out for support from those around you. Every day won't be a good one, but together we can make it through the bad ones. To wrap up here, I just want to say thank you to the guidance in our lives thus far, this being all of our parents, our guardians, the staff in our school, and all the other role models we have in our lives. You've all put up with our nonsense as we grew from unorganized, immature kids to unorganized, immature adults. And for that, on behalf of the entire graduating class, I thank you for. You stood by us on our worst days and held us high on our best ones. And we couldn't have made it this far without you. As I leave you, my two pieces of parting advice would have to be to be kind to people because you never know what someone's going through. So maybe a little boost could really go a long way in their day or their life. My second part of advice, to be careful with the claws because they're pretty dangerous and they might sneak up on you. I wish all of you the best in your future and a happy, healthy life. Now let's get a round of applause for CHSS's very own graduating class of 2020. Uh, thank you, Josh. Uh, you saw a little clip there. We actually uh, filmed about six or seven different versions of uh, Josh's speech, but we decided to go with the live one tonight. Now, before we close the evening, we have one more tradition that we are going to honor, but we're going to do it with a slight variation. We cannot have you toss your caps tonight. Uh, it's just going to be too messy, and getting your caps back would be dangerous. But we do want you to throw something. At your seats, you have a red scroll that you're going to throw up in the air. Everybody, Kyle, can you show everybody the red scroll? There, yeah, there you go. There it is. Excellent. I love the Kyle Dine cam. That's fantastic. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to three, and then you will toss that scroll up into the air, and you can scream or yell too. You guys have been very well behaved, very quiet all night. Uh, so give a good yell, and then you're just going to leave it where it lands. Just don't touch it. We're going to clean it up afterwards. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm glad we didn't wait those. I saw a couple people trying to be a little dangerous at the back. Uh, to close the evening, I need to extend a few heartfelt thank yous to those that have made this night happen. Jeff Dennis, Lee Milady, Mary Cardno, Aaron Yancey, and Cheryl Adams for all their efforts to organize and plan for this event. Our comp tech department, led by Ms. Morley, who is formerly Ms. Verkruzen, congratulations on her re recent wedding, and the young superstar in that department, Morden Baker, 
who has been filming most of the clips that you have seen here tonight. All of the staff and students that contributed to the video clips, thank you as well. To our custodians for all their help setting up the gym, thank you. To our photographer, Mr. Dennis, who's been jumping back and forth all night here, uh, thank you as well. And photos will be available on our website or we'll provide a link for those photos where you can see them as well. And lastly, I want to thank Full Pop Media and Huron AV, which have helped us produce tonight's show as we have ventured for the first time into the virtual world for our commencement. We're also proud to thank Nick Vinicombe, a CHSS grad of 2015, who is here with us and now working with Full Pop Media. This is important. If you received an award tonight, then you will find a postage paid thank you card in your package. Please make sure that you complete this card right away. Our community deserves to hear a quick thank you from those of you that have been fortunate enough to receive their support. If you do not do this, I will find you and come and take away your diploma. I, I will. Yours in particular, for sure. <laughs> uh, one more thing, if you are wearing a purple sash as an SHSM recipient, please remove the sash now and leave it on your chair. Please stay in your seats until you are dismissed. Unfortunately, we cannot have you stay at the school for photos, so please leave promptly. Also, please be safe and take care of yourselves. Congratulations once again to the graduating class of Central Huron Secondary School. Have a great evening, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. This is Central Huron, and we are strong. We are Central Huron Strong! I am Central Huron Strong. We are Central Huron Strong. Go Phoenix. We are Central Huron Strong! We are Central Huron Strong! We are Central Huron Strong! We are Central Huron Strong!